YouTube's trying to come back on, so hang on one second. I don't think it's back on. But... All right, I think YouTube's back on now, so hang on just a second. So anyway, Karen sends in her offer, and I just says, and I, and I just read that all about Karen and, her, her, and the fact that her father has died and her parents were married for 70 years. Also, Deborah sends in an offer, and I says, please pray for my son, Andrew, his life. He's been beat down to the point of rejecting the Lord. Pray returns before it's too late. Also, Alicia sends in her offering tonight. God bless you, Alicia. And Delania sends an offering and says, please pray. Continue to pray for my husband and children. Pray my hubby actually watch it cheerfully the first hour of the broadcast this evening. So please pray for my son, Joshua. He's in Cutter, Heidi, with the United States Air Force. Pray for my my veteran husband as well, and the United States Air Force retired, okay? So here's a tithe in memory of my uh, uh, Nolan Weir, also a United Defense Air Force retired in memory of him. So God bless you, Deliana. We, uh, we, we thank God for, and we remember them and, and uh, their service, and we pray for your family. Also, Justin, uh, sends an offering in tonight, says, Hi, Pastor Paul, please pray for me and my mom. Our house burned down on the 19th. We lost a lot of stuff, including my mom's cats. I'm having a hard time figuring out why God allowed this to happen. But I need some encouragement. Well, you know, the, the Lord lets everything take place on the earth. He doesn't interfere. He does, though, sometimes step in and, and do miracles. But also he, what he does is, even if the devil attacks us, God steps in and starts to encourage us. And God's going to restore, okay? He hasn't forgot you all. He has not. He has not. The devil's the one that brings these kind of things upon people. And sometimes bad things do happen to good people. It isn't a reflection on you as your faith or you as a Christian. It's just the enemy coming against you to, to try to tear you down, to get you to doubt God. But God's never going to leave you. He's never going to forsake you. He's going to be with you all the way. So hang in there. We're praying for you. We'll encourage you in Jesus' name. And Carrie sends an offering in tonight. She says, God bless you, Pastor Paul and Heidi, and your mission for God's word. This is my tithe for July. Please pray for my dad. He's having uh, AFib with his heart, and they're not wanting to take any medication for it. He's 87 years old, Heidi. Got to pray for him, don't we? Veronica. Oh, my grandma. Yes, your grandfather was like, they didn't want to take the medicine. He picked and chose what he would take. Yeah, just pray for him, hang in there with him, encourage him to try to take it. Veronica uh, gives an offering tonight. God bless you, Veronica. Frederick gives an offering tonight, says, Pastor Paul, please use this offering to bring more lost souls to Jesus. Well, 13 got saved tonight that we know of, and there may have been more, and maybe more will get in from the archives. Also, Francis sends in an offering tonight. God bless you, Francis, uh, in Jesus' name. Let's just check and see. Uh, there may be a few more. I'm getting ready to pray for all of these prayer requests and praise reports. And some of you may say, Pastor, I, I can't send it in. I want to, can I put a check or money order in the mail? Can I write it? Do that. And if there's a veteran that you want remembered, put it in the check or money order. Put it in the mail and, and write us at Paul Begley Prophecy. That's Paul Begley Prophecy. Just write this down. Paul Begley Prophecy 1048-B. That's 1048-B. 1048-B. Sagamore Parkway West. That's Sagamore Parkway West. Sagamore Parkway West. Box 33. That's Box 33. Box 33. West Lafayette. Indiana. It's West Lafayette, Indiana. The zip code is 47906. That's 47906. Praise God. We've people getting saved tonight. Uh, let me finish here. Just a five or six more here. Others may still come in with offerings. I'm going to pray for all of them. But uh, here's Jackie. Jackie sends an offering. Says praise report. I got the job. What? I told you about that last time. Please continue to pray that my lost family members will return to Yeshua. Praise for my sister Heidi's healing, Heidi. And we will continue to pray for you and your family. We love you both. Well, thank you so much, Jackie. 
God bless you. I'm so glad as you already, as we, you know, as we've already reported, you got the job because Jesus came through. Jack sends an offering in tonight. God bless you, Jack. Mary sends in an offering. She says, thanking God for my brother, David, a Navy veteran. He has liver, he, excuse me, he has lived over 10 years with, with below a quarter of his heart working. So thank you, Lord, for your blessings along the way. Please keep my my David in your prayers. God bless you both, Pastor and Heidi. Well, God bless you, Mary. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we'll keep praying. Deborah sends an offering in tonight. Says prayers for my son Ryan and uh, and family. Fifteen year Navy Corpsman, three Middle East deployments, Heidi. Two with Marine Special Forces. One with the USS Stimson. He has severe PTSD. He is. Uh, had problems, of course, because of that, but we're still lifting up prayer. We appreciate, we love him, and we thank him for his service, Deborah, and we're going to be praying for him, that God will help him through this uh, PTSD and, that, and, and, and help his family. Also, Susan sends an offering in tonight. She says, hi, Pastor Paul and Sister Heidi, prayers for continued healing for Heidi. She, Heidi says, thank you, and for continued healing for me from uh, chronic fatigue, Lyme disease as well. In the meantime, I thank Jesus for his sweet love and provision every day. God bless you both. Keep you safe as you travel. Love, Susan. And then there's Vaughn. Vaughn sends an offering in tonight, says, God bless you, Pastor Paul, and all your family. May your ministry continue to be blessed in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Vaughn, thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm sure there's more that are coming in tonight as the offerings. If your offering's coming in tonight or if you're putting in a check or money order in the mail with your offering, with your uh, tithe, with your prayer request, with your praise report, or the, even the name of your veterans that you want remembered or prayed for, please do that tonight. Just write it out right now. Put it in the mail tomorrow and let it come toward us. We'll pray over them when we open the mail. We'll pray over every one of them as we do. And we have a treasure chest filled with these prayer requests that come in. And as soon as we get home, we're going to have a dedication broadcast in the Salvation Station. We're going to bring out the treasure chest, open it up. We're going to pray for all of these again. And, and we're all going to do it together. It's going to be a powerful time. Can I pray right now? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just want to first thank you for this great conference we had here in Florida, I want to thank you for safety for all the people who came and traveled in from everywhere. God, I want to thank you for these 13 souls, at least 13. I believe there's more. God, thank you. And I believe there will be even more as people watch the archives in the next 24 hours or so. Let people be saved and set free from the bondage of sin in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Now, bless these folks. You said you love a cheerful giver. Lord, you said you'd supply every need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. You said, Lord, I would that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. God, I pray financial blessings upon these that have given tonight. Pray, I pray and the, some of them are still going and giving right now tonight. Bless them, Lord, that are writing a check or money order, putting it in the mail tomorrow. Bless their repair requests. Bless their families. Bless their jobs. Bless their homes. Bless their uh, children, their grandchildren, their marriages, their husbands, their wives.